In this video, we are going to evaluate the following series. The first term is 1 over 6, and the second term is 2 over 6 squared, and then 3 over 6 cubed, 4 over 6 to the 4, and so on. And we are adding this up to infinity. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is slightly different from the series that we usually um, deal with. I suppose most people are actually more familiar with the series 1 over 6 and then 1 over 6 squared and then 1 over 6 cubed and so on adding up to infinity. These are something called infinite geometric series. So I'm not going to use any so called formula in this when we solve this problem. I'm going to solve it from scratch. So if I let the series the in, this infinite series be s, the value to be s, and I'm going to say 1 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 squared, adding up to infinity, is another infinite geometric series, but each term multiplied by 6. So if we add them up, add all the terms up, we should have 6s. However, if we look at these two blocks of terms, both labeled in yellow, they're actually the same. So that means I can say that, therefore, 6s is actually equal to 1 plus s. s is the, the yellow block. So that means 5s equals 1, and then s equals 1 over 5. So we've managed to find um, the sum of this infinite geometric series without using some kind of general formula. Now using this we can actually evaluate the answer to our problem. So the trick is I'm going to split our original series into the following. So the first term is still 1 over 6 while for 2 over 6 squared the second term I'm going to split it into 2 times 1 over 6 squared and then for a third term, 3 over 6 cubed, I'm going to split that into 3 terms, each to be 1 over 6 cubed. So we can imagine I'm going to do the same for uh, 4 over 6 to the 4, I'm going to split into 4 terms. Now if we take a look at each series. I've now written um, three rows of series for the one labeled in green. There's actually all terms in S multiplied by 1 over 6. So 1 over 6 becomes 1 over 6 squared, 1 over 6 squared becomes 1 over 6 cubed, and 1 over 6 cubed becomes 1 over 6 to the 4 and so on. So I can say that the second row is actually 1 over 6s. And similarly, I'm again multiplying 1 over 6 on each corresponding term. And so the third row altogether should be 1 over 36s. Now imagine if we do if we keep doing this, then our final answer will be adding a lot of terms involving s. So there will be s plus 1 over 6 s plus 1 over 36 s and then you can imagine this again powers of 6 and so on. I can take on a common factor which is s. So it's 1 plus 1 over 6 and the pattern goes by 1 over 6 squared, 1 over 6 cubed and so on. Going to infinity again and recalling that the so-called infinite series excluding excluding the 1 is in fact s again. So we have s times 1 plus s and because recall that s is 1 fifth s at the top right corner of the screen. So then our final answer is 1 fifth times 1 plus 1 fifth and it's actually 6 over 25. This is our final answer. 